Hi students. So finally, uh, the ICSE physics paper was over on 20th uh, February and the paper was very, very easy, you know. Uh, so I thought let us uh, first of all, uh, we'll discuss the answer key in the, the purpose of making today's video is the making the answer key. But before that, let me do a quick analysis. Okay. So if you remember, I had also discussed this in my previous video about how the, uh, you know, the section two would be divided. So section one was much simple. Okay. And section two, if you ca all can see question number five was completely asked from measurements. Okay. Uh, measurements and all those uh, simple uh, pendulum thing. Okay, question number six was all from the mechanics part that is the laws of motion and uh, all that. Then uh, question seven has been asked from the pressure one. Then question eight is asked from the heat and light actually. So actually here I was a little disappointed because light is my favorite chapter. So they have asked only one question. So, uh, you know, I was expecting that there will be one complete question on light but that's okay nothing can be done and then but obviously question number nine was again a mixture of light sound and uh, your electricity okay and question 10 was uh, completely on electricity and magnetism so that were also very obvious questions so here many uh, of our the doubts got cleared you know many students had this doubt vernier caliper ke numericals karne hai ya nahi karne hai least count ke numericals karne hai ya nahi karne hai to ye kafi baar question pucha gaya to i was always telling them ki finding the least count wale numericals karke rakhna okay so the instruction remains same only luckily the paper was easy this time so but we cannot be uh, you know miss out anything unnecessarily so let's quickly get into the answer key uh, first of all this video would be made in two parts because it's a entire 80 marks paper discussion so section one and section two as a two videos and uh, you all see the video till the end so that uh, you all will understand so first of all let us quickly jump into the question one yeah, there were two figures given basically of two scales okay a and b and it was asked the figure below shows the parts of measuring scale which scale can measure the length more accurately now if you all can see from the diagram a has less number of divisions and b has more number of divisions the question was asked which can ac measure more accurately so the but obviously the answer is b okay then name the physical quantity uh, related to the unit light year. Now light year, we all know it is nothing but the distance between the celestial bodies okay, or the planets or uh, you know this particular uh, unit is used where it is extremely far off distances. Okay, so distance uh, is the answer for that. Now in some uh, cases, even if the student has written length, that might be considered okay, but I think appropriate answer would be distance okay let's get on to the next question what is the relation between time period and frequency of a pendulum very simple t is equals to 1 upon f inversely relations inverse relationship between this uh, here if you all can even if you have written in the words then also it will be considered okay what will be the effect on time period of pendulum if the mass of the bob is increased for the same length now we all know that uh, it does not depend upon the mass of the bob uh, the time period of the pendulum does not depend upon the mass of the bob so there will be no any kind of effect okay uh, third question were certain physical quantities were given and you had to uh, classify them accordingly which one was uh, which one was scalar and uh, vector scalar is speed and pressure and vector is acceleration and force now many students have messed up over here considering pressure also as a vector quantity so no that is wrong pressure is a scalar quantity okay let us go quickly to the next question d the motion of the body is represented by the dt graph state the type of motion it is a linear curve so definitely it will be nothing but a uniform velocity or even if you have written uniform motion then also the answer can be given the mark how can the velocity of body be determined from the above graph here by finding the slope now the slope is very important if, if you have written displace uh, uh, we can find out the velocity by v is displacement upon time no that is a formula see students they have from the graph it has been asked so when they say from the graph it is pre, uh, specifically it has been mentioned so the answer will remain finding the slope 
then a car so uh, e question very simple uh, car starting from rest acquires a velocity of 54 km per hour in 20 seconds rest means initial velocity will be zero final velocity will be 54 km per hour convert it into meters per second a is v minus u upon t substitute the formula direct uh, uh, data was given of course this you have to convert into meters per second the answer is 0.75 meter per second square let's quickly go to the question 2 now a car in motion is brought to rest by applying brakes okay name the contact force responsible in bringing the car to the rest but obviously in bringing the car to the rest bola hai. means what when the car is moving like this what is going to happen the, the there will be a certain frictional force which is acting in the opposite direction yeah so that force is nothing but which one the frictional force so it is the frictional force then what is the direction of the above identified force that is nothing but it will be in the opposite direction we all know name the property of an object by virtue of which it opposes to tends to oppose or any change in its state the answer itself is given in the question class very simple that is nothing but inertia what is the factor on which the property of the object depends it is the mass okay some of the students have by mistake uh, really written um, it depends upon the state rest position no see more is the mass more force you will have to apply to move it are you all the, are you all understanding this see and less is the mass with a little bit of force also the object can be easily moved so in that case it is the mass of the object let us go to the next question the gravitational force of attraction between two bodies at a distance x is 20 newton what will be the force of attraction between them if the distance between them is made 2x so force is 20 newton we all know that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance so now initially the distance was x okay so 1 upon x square aega. but if i am making it 2x so what it will be 1 upon 2x ka whole square aega. so 2 square ban jayega 1 upon 4 so 1 upon 4 into 20 the force becomes 5 newtons okay 5 newton rather okay then d question let us go what do you understand by the term relative density of a substance most uh, very simple ratio of density of a substance to the density of water at 4 degrees celsius uh, and here uh, students some of if you have written the formula only you will not be getting the mark formula is not asked it is said what do you understand by the term bola hai term means you will have to write it in the form of words agar formula likhoge to marks nahi milega isme i know actually it should but the uh, term pucha hai so you have to be specific you know it is the ratio of density of a substance to the density of water at 4 degree celsius then if the relative density of substance is 1.2 convert it into the si unit uh, if the density of water is at 4 degrees celsius is 10 raised to 3 so it's a very simple 1.2 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube we already have this in the textbook also then the then there is a diagram given students the river water in the diagram below shows two diverse a and b now a ka height h1 hai b ka height is h2 which of the two divers will experience more pressure by the water but obviously the one which has more height so that is b and then the second question is a really interesting class the two di two divers were later made to dive in the sea for the same depth and they experience more pressure in which case so but obviously we all know that the density of sea water will be more why because of the salinity or the salt content present in that and hence the density of sea water will be more than that of the uh, this uh, than the river water hence the pressure also increases so what as the density increases the pressure also increases since density of sea water is more than that for river water the pressure experienced at the same depth in sea water will be more than that experienced in the river water so ye uska answer hoga okay let's uh, begin with question number three uh, now over here a body weighs 550 gf in air and 370 gf in water when it is completely immersed in water find out up thrust so very simple formula uh, w1 w2 is given up thrust will be nothing but equal to what w1 minus w2 that is 550 minus 370 180 gf is the answer 
second thing uh, the second one that is asked is the volume of the body now we all know the volume of the body is nothing but the upthrust exerted on the object so that is nothing but v rho g here it will be 180 centimeter cube only thing is the number remains the same only you will change the unit over here and since all of them are in cgs you all can keep it in cgs 180 centimeter cube only state one advantages of the renewable source of energy very simple you all can write anything there are so many lesser pollution more sustainable use can be used again and again used for long time okay so many are there uh, then according to the law of thermodynamics no energy transfer is 100 percent efficient or, or rather why so now what will be the answer for this see this because always what will happen some form of energy will be lost to the surroundings okay this is the second law of thermodynamics actually but some part of energy will be always lost due to the friction or radiation now students it's very important if you just write over here that it is lost into some unuseful form then it will not be of any use why that unusual form is going it is because due to some amount of friction or some kind of radiation so you'll have to mention this word friction over there then only you will get that one mark okay let's go to the next question c ho gaya na nahi b ho gaya okay c now what is the c question piche reh gaya when two bodies p and q are kept in contact it is found that the heat gets transferred from q to p very simple when the the uh, heat uh, transfer of heat takes place between the bodies which are at unequal temperature so definitely uh, it is what they have said it is going from q to p so which of the two is hotter so definitely q will be the hotter one okay and second kya pucha hai which physical quantity determines the direction of transfer of heat now what is what tells us the transfer of heat it is the temperature okay because of the temperature we will understand which particular body is at a higher temperature and which one is at a lower temperature then uh, d question a plane mirror is used to obtain the image of an object compare the size of the image formed in the size to that of the uh, formed in it to that of the size of the objects now we all know in a plane mirror the size of the image is equal to the size of the object so it will be i is equals to o so it is the same size state the nature of the image formed in the plane mirror it will be virtual and erect laterally inverted okay so uh, actually the expected answer is virtual and erect even if you have written this much you will get the one mark laterally inverted if you have not written if, if it, you have written laterally inverted then all the more good but laterally inverted nahi likha to bhi chalega but virtual is extremely important because that is the you know, um, that is the correct answer as in then e question the diagram shows the formation of image a dash b dash so image is on the right hand side of the object kept between the pole and focus in the mirror so here yeah, our sixth case hai basically identify the spherical mirror it was, was very simple concave mirror and then uh, focal length we know all it is half of radius of curvature so already the distance has been given in the diagram so it is 17 upon 2 is equals to 8.5 centimeter okay let's quickly go to question number four why is convex mirror preferred as a reflector in a street lamp now it is uh, it is because convex mirror is the one which diverges the light rays now here also some of the students i have found out they have written the reflected you know see students all the mirrors are going to behave like reflectors okay if it is a mirror then it is going to reflect light so it's not a great big deal as such so convex mirror diverges light diverges means what it was going to send the light rays in the all possible directions and hence you have to write the word diverges very important okay then concave mirror is used as a reflector in torches headlights and automobiles to obtain parallel beam very simple question state the position of the source of the light where we have to keep the uh, that particular bulb as in so it will be definitely at the focus why at the focus so that the light rays can travel at the max to max to the to far off distances this is our fifth case basically in the in those lenses uh, what uh, sorry in the mirrors diagram mein. then uh, frequency of a sound produced by vibrating bodies 15000 hertz will the sound be audible very simple it is uh, yes because uh, the fre frequency in which we can hear is 20 hertz to 20000 
heard so uske beech mein hai so we can definitely hear that sound that is it is audible to us name the vibrations used in sonar they are nothing but the ultrasonic okay ye humne padha hai which is greater than the 20 uh, kilohertz the flash of exploding cracker is seen even again a very simple question is seen even before we hear the sound why because we know that the velocity of light is much much greater than the velocity of the sound okay in which state of matter does the sound travel fastest ye humne padha hai bahut baar that is nothing but the solids d question very simple again amount of work done in moving a charge of 15 coulomb between two points kept at a potential difference of 1.2 volts so q is 15 coulomb v is 1.2 volts so we know the formula v is nothing but w upon q so w will be equals to v into q simply substitute and solve for the uh, answer so you will get 18 joules now e was a very good question the diagram shows below the magnetic field lines of earth in a limited uh, space the field lines are parallel now a and b are parallel and equidistant are the magnetic field lines uniform or non uniform but obviously since they are in a straight line and equidistant okay the lines are equidistant from one another so therefore definitely it is going to be a uniform magnetic field and where is the position of geographic north a or b the a will be geographic north and b will be geographic south why because we all know whenever we suspend a magnet uh, like you know in air what will happen the north pole of it will go towards the geographic north why because at geographic north there is the magnetic south pole that is the earth's magnetic field okay so we have studied this in the magnetism and b will become the geographic south of course that is not asked also yeah thank you uh, so uh, this is the first part so in the second part i would be covering the section 2 of this thank you so much